Going viral on the internet's a pretty strange thing. One day, you're just a kid yodeling in a Walmart, and then before you know it, you're an internet sensation headlining Coachella. What's stranger than people who unironically listen to yodeling is that going viral sort of just happens. There seems to be no rhyme or reason to it at all. But what if there was a key to going viral, and somebody that isn't Mr. Beast had figured out exactly how to do it? Well, <laughs> I think I found just the guy. Not only has he gone viral, but he's been secretly doing it over and over again through his portrayal of different personalities across the internet. From a priest who forgave our sins to a sociopathic online therapist who taught gaslighting and manipulation techniques to millions of people. So who exactly is this mysterious figure? Well, his name is Donald Schnitzel. Uh, no, that his name is Dan Schneider. No, that's that's not it either. His name is Dan Henschel, at, at least that's what he says it is, and he has been all over the internet. More notably, he's been all over Twitter these past couple of weeks, which is actually where I found him. I was avoiding, avoiding what? I was avoiding folding laundry, as I usually do, when I came across this banger of a tweet from Dan. At the beach, where the hose at? Cocky want boing boing. I'm sure some of you guys have seen this post as well, because uh, that, that smile is <laughs> unforgettable. A few days later, I came across a follow-up tweet from him, which had gotten even more popular than the previous tweet. I'm glad you guys liked cocky want boing boing cause it got me fired. All right, uh, cool. Uh, good job, awesome, great. I don't know. Tweets like this blow up all the time. Good for this guy that it happened twice. He's doing numbers and getting paid like pff, seven cents from Twitter payout. This is where things take a turn, however, because a day or two later, I was scrolling YouTube when I came across a familiar video. It was a TikTok where a priest virtually cleansed our sins. I absolve you of your sins. You have been forgiven. I remember this video being everywhere. It was a huge trend. To my knowledge, it was a real trend accidentally started by a real priest who just made a funny TikTok, right? <laughs> well, if you look between the 144p video quality, uh, that face, that smile, it, it, it seems a little familiar. I absolve you of your sins. Cocky one born born. You have been forgiven. It's the cocky one boing boing guy, Dan Henschel. This is where the rabbit hole of Mr. Henschel truly begins. Dan's content is different from really anything I've ever seen before. He has dozens of personalities, all with their own unique traits, jobs, and storylines. But with the small twist that they're all uniquely unhinged and perfectly designed for internet virality. The Priest is a great example who you'll probably recognize if you're as chronically online as I. The Priest is one of Dan's most recognizable characters because of the holy psychic blast. But the the Priest also has a bunch of other videos that show just how interesting this <laughs> Andrew Scott wannabe is. The story of The Priest starts with a 15 minute YouTube video that dared to ask and answer a question that literally nobody has ever wondered. <laughs> to save you 15 minutes and save your search history, uh, the video is shockingly normal. Really all that happens is he talks about modern day religion, how it should adapt. We need to reinvent ourselves. And answers the question of if he tenderizes his yams. No, no. Besides him answering a question that we did not even ask, the only weird thing that happens is we get little hints of what seems to be a fragile mental state. A fucking, sorry, I am on a tear right now. Somebody interrupts me, then I gotta start all over again, and sometimes the video's 30 minutes, and then I have to start over again. Okay, sorry. I'm <laughs> then, one day later, he posted this. God is a fucking asshole! A video of him literally just screaming and yelling about how he hates God because God hates him. Any prospect of ever being happy, finding someone I love, having children, all so that he can rub my nose in it! <laughs> Fuck you! Oh my god. Uh... <laughs> I guess he had post nut clarity or something. The story continues two days later when the priest apologizes for the previous video. Where I said that I hated God and all of this stuff. I admit that I should have kept that private. And then outlines five Catholic rules that don't even matter. Number one, premarital have it. It doesn't matter. Number two, again, yeah, who cares? Just, it doesn't matter, just get one. Number three. Number four, gay marriage, not a big deal, fine. Five, I guess, I don't know, I guess that's it. That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> I don't see how things should get worse for him. Oh. 
that's not good. <laughs> so that's the current main storyline of the priest so far. Other than a few more appearances, like the time he accidentally bleached his clothes, or the time he virtually fought our demons, he hasn't really shown up recently. But remember earlier when I mentioned personalities? The priest was only a taste of what Dan has to offer. Yes, while he may have gotten over 40 million views and close to six, 100,000 likes across all platforms combined. Oh my god. This is only one personality of many. If you look at any of Dan's social media pages, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. There's a douchebag boyfriend personality who's just a douchebag. There's a pilot who revealed secrets about flying and airplanes that people didn't know who hasn't shown up recently. Now that I think about it, uh, <laughs> Boeing probably got to him. There's even a teacher persona who'd <laughs> probably really get along with some Minecraft YouTubers. Every teacher has that one student, the one who gives you butterflies when you see their name on a paper. The more you look at Dan's antics and characters, the more you begin to question whether or not this is a joke. Maybe this just is Dan, and if that's the case, those teacher videos are way worse than I thought. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. What about them? That's not Dan. Or what about this, uh... <laughs> <laughs> musically gifted doctor or this ancient judge these people aren't dan who the hell are they uh, actually they're all dan what <laughs> that's what i'm saying yeah you, uh, you heard me right this is dan this is dan even this is da oh no not them no that's so <laughs> That's, that's not Dan. This is how he keeps going viral without anyone remembering him. He constantly changes his appearance, not just physically, but digitally by photoshopping different faces and hairstyles onto himself. He's even changed how his whole profile looks for certain bits, just to add an extra level of believability. Now you know just how far he's willing to go for the bit, because th this is a bit. Right? L like, the teacher can't be real. The teacher has to be a bit. Dan has to be a parody. There's no way he isn't. I'm not doing a bit. My life isn't a joke. Okay, so maybe it isn't a bit. But it has to be a bit. I mean, there's no way the therapist is actually real. Oh, we haven't, uh, we haven't talked about the therapist yet, have we? Well, uh... Where do I even begin with this one? All of his other viral personalities have some sort of quality that makes you say, oh, okay, this is a joke. This isn't, this isn't real. Like the edits in the priest TikToks or, or the, the doctor smoking a flute and clearly the whole house Harkonnen post that started this whole uh, video. But the, the therapist, uh, well, doesn't have those qualities. In fact, the therapist is legitimately a dangerous and damaging character. Well, why is he dangerous? You may be asking. First of all, Shut the hell up. Let me finish the damn script, okay? Secondly, <laughs> shut the So, the therapist is one of Dan's oldest characters, and was actually his first to ever go viral. And rightfully so, because the things he was saying were insane. For instance, there's a video where he tells people how to make their partner love them more. The whole video is basically him just detailing one of the many things he does to make his partner subconsciously rely on him, and therefore love him more. Every once in a while, I open up the top part of the toilet and disconnect the chain. This essentially prevents the toilet from flushing. Then I wait for my partner to use the bathroom and discover the toilet's broken. When they tell me about it, I go take a look at it and just undo what I did before. My fixing the toilet makes my partner's primitive brain perceive me as incredibly valuable and trustworthy. On another occasion, he detailed how when he goes out of town, he replaces his partner's coffee with decaf coffee. So that way, when he goes out of town, they experience a caffeine withdrawal, but they don't know about it, so they associate the symptoms of it with him being gone. These videos genuinely seem real. Like, this this acting is impeccable. I mean, like, like, okay. Here's a real therapist TikTok. Seven signs that your partner might be feeling done with the relationship. One, instead of engaging in repair attempts after a fight, they sort of let things go and move on without trying to reconnect. And then here's Dan. Here's how to make your partner love you more. Start getting them flowers every week. Do this three weeks in a row so it starts to get a little annoying. On the fourth week, buy the flowers, but don't give them to your partner. Instead, let them discover you you've thrown them in the garbage. This will make them think about all the things they might have done wrong and work to be better for you. Obviously, if you're at least smarter than like a shrimp, <laughs> you know what Dan is doing is satire. But remember, it's 2024. There are still people who think OJ didn't do it. 
If you haven't pieced it together by now, the therapist basically just shows people how to mentally and emotionally manipulate their partner and really anyone around them. And because of how convincingly realistic his videos seem, the therapist has possibly fooled millions of people into taking what he says seriously. In fact, if you Google Dan Henschel, the first related search that comes up is, is Dan Henschel a real therapist? This character kept going viral on TikTok with multiple videos and reposts getting over 5 million views. And some videos even got 20 million views, which you can see in this YouTube video from Asher Extra, which is the only footage of Dan's TikTok account I could find because his account is gone. He was such a convincing and dangerous character that TikTok literally banned him permanently. I mean, look at this and tell me he isn't a convincing actor. I hate being a therapist! Ah! All day, all day, I just have to listen to people complain about their stupid problems and I just want to be like, shut up! Nobody cares! This is the only honest advice you're ever going to get from a therapist. Get over it! That post went crazy viral and was actually the catalyst to all the other viral moments and, and probably him getting banned. I mean, the guy was so good at gaslighting people into thinking that he was actually gaslighting people that he gaslighted TikTok into thinking he was gaslighting people. I'm not realizing it's been like three pages since the last joke. So I think it's time to bring this whole thing together. Um, this whole thing has been worrisome and dangerous. Now, yes, everything that Dan does is a bit. I don't think I need to say that, but it should be said nevertheless. I mean, he will literally do anything for the bit just to go viral. So much so that he ended up getting banned from TikTok because people genuinely thought his characters were real people. How many people has he fooled and directly affected by going viral? Who knows how many times at this point. I'm sure going viral has its perks, like I would know, but how far should you be willing to go to get that attention? How many lines are you willing to cross and should you even cross them? I mean, dude, one of his most viral characters is literally all about teaching people somewhat viable methods of manipulation, even to this day. This is genuinely dangerous, especially with how many people see him and have no clue that it's satire. Sure, yeah, some of the characters are harmless, like the cocky one boing boing guy, the priest, or the US Army soldiers, and a lot of those posts are actually pretty funny, like this one, I mean, that's good. I think, I think that's funny. At the end of the day, just take everything you see on the internet with a grain of salt. Something that seems insanely real could just be something designed to grab your attention. Oh my god! If you enjoyed this video, you'd probably really like this one too. Oh, really? So the video's just gonna cover my face now? Like, every time? That's what we're doing? Okay. Alright, sure, I see how it is.